hello viewers you are welcome to this special tutorial in this tutorial we're going to be treating lcm and hcm of numbers but before then we need to know the following we need to know factors and multiples before we now go over to lcm we now know the definition of lcm and hcm also lcm and hcm of fractions which is very important Finally, properties of LCM and HCF. So let's start with factors and multiples. Okay. The factor of a number, the factors of a, of a number are the number that are divisible by that number. So meaning that the remainder is zero. So we say that the factors of Factors of a number are the number that that the remainder is zero when they are when they are divided by that number so that's it so i'm saying that assume if someone asks you the factors of four we know that the factors of four is one two and four because if you do four over one the answer is four that is the remainder is zero also, if you do 4 over 2, the answer is 2. No remainder. Uh, remainder 0. Why 4 over 4 is 1? So looking at this, you notice that they are all, the remainders are all 0. Again, you still notice that 4 over minus 1 is also minus 4. Remember is 0. Again, 4 over minus 2 is all minus 2. And finally, 4 over minus 4 is minus 1. So in all the cases, you notice that the remainder is 0. So with that, we know that we have positive and negative factors. Because the main thing here is that the remainder must be zero whenever you divide the number by by the factor the remainder is always zero so the factors of four will be plus or minus one plus or minus two and plus or minus four so that's what factors are so the next one multiples a multiple of a number is the result when the number is multiplied by an integer so uh, the result the number that come that the answer when you multiply that number by an integer is the multiple of that number so is is the result when the number is multiplied by an by an integer you know the meaning of integer positive or negative whole numbers so i'm saying that if someone asks you the if you multiply four by any whole number So assuming you multiply by 1, the answer is 4. So 4 is a multiple of 4. 2, two times 4 is what? 8. 8 is also a multiple of 4. 3, 12 is also a multiple of 4. That same way again. Again, you notice that if you multiply 
4 by 0. Well, 0 is an integer. You still have you still have 0. So 0 is also a multiple of 4. If you multiply by minus 1, you have minus 4. It also a multiple of 4 minus 2 equals minus 8. So with that, you notice that multiple is, is both positive and negative. So it's very, very, very important. So that's it. So let's now enter into the main thing, which is LCM. LCM. From the LCM is just the lowest. That's the that's the abbreviation. This is the lowest. Lowest common multiple. So we are looking at the lowest common multiple of numbers as our LCM. The key word here is the, the three words that are the three words making up the, 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 the word lowest, the smallest, common. Must be common to them, and multiple must be a multiple of the number. So also we restrict LCM to only positive and negative. Uh, as positive, sorry, restrict it to positive multiple. So we don't care about negative multiple. So we are looking at the positive multiple of numbers here. So from the beginning, the lowest common multiple. LCM of two or more numbers is the is the lowest lowest or the lowest or the smallest number that for example if you ask to find the LCM the LCM of 2, 8, and maybe 32. We now list the multiples. The multiples of 2, uh, that's positive multiple, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. So maybe 10. Also, the multiples of 8, positive multiple, 8, 16, 24, 30, 24, 32. So finally, 32, the multiples, 32, 64, 96. So you now check the lowest number that is common to all of them. The lowest number that is common to all. Check. What do you notice? Okay, let's extend this. This 5, 12, 14, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. You still get 32. Do you get? So you notice that the number that is common to all is 32. The lowest number that is common to all is 32. So the answer is 32. So... So from the name HCF is the highest. We also focus on positive factors. Factors. Just focus on positive factors. So this means highest common factor. Highest common factor. So it's just the is the is the largest is the largest or the 
highest number that can divide the numbers. So see what I'm saying. If you are now giving the same, let's give two eight. If you ask to find HCL of two and eight. So what are the factors of two? One, two. Also for eight. Factor is one, two, four, eight. So check this. The highest number that can divide two and eight. Check the factors. So you notice what is common here that can divide the highest number that can divide two is two. So our HCF is two. So as, as, again, if you are now asked to find HCM of maybe four, eight, thirty-two. So you check the highest number that can divide as the, the factor. If you list four, the factors are one, two, four, eight. Factors are one, two, four. It. Why 32 is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. So if you check the numbers now, what do you notice? What's com what the fact that is common to the 3? Is 1, the highest number that is common to the 3. So it's 4. Our HCF is 4. So that is it for HCF.